A murder investigation, meanwhile, is underway after a man was shot to death just feet from an elementary school. It happened about 1030 this morning on 57th Street Northeast. Our DC Bureau Chief Sam Ford joins us from the scene with more on the victim and the emotions on display here. Sam. Allison, this was the first shooting death of the year, the second homicide of 2013. A man in his mid 20s was gunned down here in the 500 block of 57th, right across the street from Charles Drew Elementary School, which was immediately placed on lockdown. The victim's friends and relatives were frantic in trying to learn what had happened as word spread through the neighborhood about the shooting. Ironically, a block away, a funeral was getting underway, and mourners were startled by gunshots. We got out the car. And we walked right there and we, we heard all the shooting. What did you think? I, I, we was just trying to get out the way because it was so close. Police are trying to learn what happened. The investigation is very, very early, so we're really in the process of interviewing witnesses and trying to determine exactly what happened. Um, the only thing we have is we have information from someone that they saw a small black vehicle leaving the scene. Police kept the immediate area shut down most of the day while they did a complete panoramic scan of the area and laid out more than 40 evidence markers. It appeared that the victim fell between a house and this car, which authorities towed away from the scene. They hear all them shots and we just got out of the car. We were not right there and then it was boom, 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 boom. Yeah, I'm just so glad it didn't come our way. And that is Charles Drew Elementary School, which the principal said that she placed on lockdown immediately after the shooting, which essentially meant that the children did not have outdoor recess today. Police have not yet released the name of the victim. He was again the second homicide victim of the year. The first was a man who was stabbed to death on Alabama Avenue Southeast last Thursday. We ended 2012 with the fewest homicides D.C. has seen in more than 50 years, 88 of which 59 of those were shootings. Reporting live from Northeast Washington, Sam Ford, ABC 7 News. All right, thank